The Tower of Babel at Night, a trick tableau by Eric Kettlehut. He wrote, On strong cardboard, I drew two pictures of 60 by 40 centimeter format in the same naturalistic and minutely detailed manner as would be produced by photography. My range of shadows stretched from black to mid-gray. Only the constantly illuminated windows were given a lighter shade. If I wanted to depict a beam of light moving across the front of a building, I would have to erase, millimetre for millimetre, the same amount of shading from one side as I added to the other. The picture would then be exposed and the process repeated until the beam of light disappeared completely from the picture screen. And so I had to make around 1,000 individual images. 25 images for every second of the film. So too can it be imagined how from Kettlehut's drawing of daybreak the moving image of the city mountains resulted. Frame by frame shooting was one of three special effect processes used in the making of Metropolis. Lang had seen this in Hollywood. The set for the main shopping street combined two and three dimensional presentation a relief model with painted background, the building in the foreground at a scale of 1 to 16 to the simulated heights, a painting of the new Tower of Babel in the background at a scale of 1 to 100, 3.5 metres representing 350. For filming the shots of the traffic on the roads of the upper city, they used 300 tiny model cars, each of which had to be moved forward a few millimetres for each frame. How did the M-machine change into the Moloch? Using a combination of the Schuftan process and sliding mirrors, writes Kettlehut, the Moloch head, which was positioned opposite the M-machine, blended into the machine, with the image appearing from top to bottom. The Schuftan mirror trick process, the second special effect method used in Metropolis. Eugene Schuftan was a painter and architect and Hans Polzig assistant at the Berlin Academy of the Arts. I bin natürlich zum Film gekommen eigentlich durch das Verfahren, weil mich das Bild in der Bewegung sehr interessiert hat. Damals hatte man nur stillstehende Bilder und nicht das Bild in der Tiefe ist ein Hauptteil meines Verfahrens, weil der Spiegel in der Tiefe gebraucht wird. Schuftan's mirror trick process enabled the combined use of models and real scenery. Here, between the model buildings, on the street below can be seen the real pursuit of Mary by the crowd. The same model was used in another take, with the addition of several abutments and a skyway, on which a model car runs, while on the street below, two real worker gangs plod past each other. To achieve this effect, a mirror mounted at 45 degrees in front of the camera lens reflected the image of the miniature model positioned directly behind the camera. Part of the mirror surface had been scratched away so as to provide the camera an unrestricted view of the real scenery. The lower floors of the buildings around the central square of the workers' city were constructed to full scale. The upper floors were mirror image models. In the Stadium of the Suns, the track and lower portion of the wall, 10 meters high, were real. The section above, with buttresses and a dome in the background, were a mirror image of the model, 1 20th of the simulated size. In Rotwang's house, the memorial to Hale. The head was a model 60 centimeters in height a mirror image of which was projected above the headless pedestal, which, when taking a reverse-angle shot of Rotwang flitting by the memorial, was used as a platform for the crew and camera. The third special effect used for Metropolis, multiple exposure. Not copying one on top of the other, subsequently in the laboratory, but actually during the shoot, 
in the camera on the same reel of film, which had to be rewound several times. Günther Ritter.